Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery course. We have been discussing about different pathological conditions of the anal canal and we have been discussing about the hemorrhoids, the anal fistulas in the previous couple of lectures and today we'll be talking about the pylonidal sinus. So if we talk about the meaning of a pylo, it's, uh, it's related to here, and a sinus means a tract which has got one external opening. So pylonidal sinus is properly a granulation tissue or a tract which is actually containing uh, a hair, and there are no hair follicles, and they're coming anywhere from the skin. So let's have the outline for today's lecture. So we'll be talking about this uh, acute condition and the chronic polonidal sinuses in today's lecture. We'll be talking about their pathologies, like because it's an inflammatory process and there's a lot of fibrosis and if it's acute, so there would be more of a neutrophils. And if we talk about the uh, chronic polonidal sinus, there would be more of the um, chronic inflammatory cells. Then if we talk about the pathology, there would, would be a lot of a granulation tissue. We'll be talking in detail about the clinical features and how actually the patient would be coming to you. We'll be talking about the intermittent pain, the swelling, the discharge, and the midline opening. And then we'll be talking about if how you're going to differentiate between a sinus opening and a fistula opening. And what is the uh, relationship of a nasal cleft or a um, in a relationship between the um, the um, sacrococcygeus joint and the uh, spine, and how actually the patient is going to present to you, especially complaining about the uh, uh, pain in uh, in the back or the tip of the coccyx. Then we'll be talking about the diagnosis, which is most commonly um, clinical diagnosis, and we do not have uh, uh, you know most of the time proper investigations and we just, uh, a clinical assessment is sufficient, a peri and a local examination is sufficient. Then we'll be talking about the treatment, and the treatment is divided into a chronic conditions, the recurrent conditions, and acute exacerbation. So in today's lecture, we'll be talking in detail about the acute exacerbation. If there is accompanying perianal abscess along with a pylonidal sinus, then which strategy is you are going to use? Then we'll be talking about the multiple therapies which are trying to explain and the the role of the hair from nape or the perianal scan, the axilla and the blicus and how they are actually, which is the mechanism. And what is the role of the buttock friction and the shearing forces? We'll be talking in detail in lecture. And then we'll be talking about the occupational relationships, especially the Jeep drivers and hairdressers and what is the significance of occupation in case of a polonidal sinus and why this is very much important to ask your patient about the occupation and the uh, hygiene of a patient. So the treatment depending upon the acute exacerbation and the surgical procedures for the chronic pylonidal sinus. We'll be talking in, de in detail about the Kerydakis procedure. We'll be talking about the steps we need to follow, and then how actually there is excision of the whole of the sinus cavity. Then we'll be talking about the other techniques and some advancement flaps and which conditions the advancement flaps are being used. And we'll be talking about the techniques of a Z-plasty and a Limburg operation, which is a rhomboid flap. And we'll be talking the difference between a Kerydakis, a Limburg, and uh, the other techniques. And then we'll be talking in detail about the BASCOM technique and why the BASCOM is used instead of carry take his procedure and in which conditions the BASCOM technique is used, not the carry take his procedure. We'll be talking in detail about this in the lecture. And then we'll be talking about some recurrent polyonidal sinuses and how the post-operative complication uh, would arise and how, what post-operative uh, care should be given to your patients. For the detailed uh, lecture, uh, you can watch scadia.com. We have got multiple lectures on our site, which is scadia.com. You can go there, get access and enjoy our lectures. For the detailed lecture, keep watching scadia.com. Thank you.